recall that for an Euler Bernoulli beam, the sagging moment makes the section that's initially perpendicular to the neutral axes rotate along with the neutral axes, and that section stays perpendicular to the neutral axes before and after deformation. Therefore, the work done by the bending moment to rotate the section and angle d theta can be written in this form. And then integrating along the length of the entire beam from north to L gives the internal work done due to the deformation of the beam. And that's equal to the external work done by the load. So here the work done by the point load is the point load multiplied by the deflection at mid-span. Now if we divide by dx and multiply by dx, then this here is the curvature which is equal to m on ei. So therefore we can write this expression by taking the bending stiffness outside the integral because it's constant Let's multiply by the integral from x equals 0 to L, and we're thereby integrating m squared with respect to x. Now if we look at this beam here, we know that by symmetry, the reactions on each side are equal to half the external load. And the bending moment is therefore piecewise linear. And from x equals 0, to the length on 2, we have an equation for the bending moment that's p on 2 multiplied by x. So therefore the internal work done due to the deformation of the beam can be written as 1 on ei, where the integral from naught to l on 2, and then we have p on 2x squared being the bending moment, integrated over x. And due to symmetry, we just multiply this by 2 to get the work done due to the deformation of the entire beam. And that's equal to the work done by the external force. That would be P by the deflection at midspan. And now we can take the constants outside the integral. So we have 2P squared on 4ei by the integral of x squared dx from 0 to L on 2. So evaluating this integral we get p squared on 2ei by x cubed thirds evaluated from 0 to L on 2. And therefore we have p squared on 2ei by l on 2 cubed on 3, that will be l cubed on 24. And therefore this is p squared by l cubed on 48ei. And here if we cancel a p from both sides, we see that the deflection at midspan is PL cubed on 48 EI, which is well known for a simply supported beam under a point load in the middle. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help me reach more students.